<laughs> Alrighty then. Greetings and welcome to another video uh, in my unboxing uh, set of videos, I suppose you could say. Today we are unboxing the most highly anticipated system for me since like 64 man like it's ridiculous um i am ready to get in this thing so uh i'm gonna go ahead and do that Let's see here first things first i'm gonna show you the box here got the front side you got the back side you got the side side and the other side side uh, the front just shows the main system the back shows the system in the dock the sides show different ways that you can play it apparently uh, the top is Nintendo the bottom has various warnings of many types don't do this don't do that injuries death doom danger etc etc anyway uh, let's go ahead and uh, get going here now I had the opportunity to study other people doing these unboxings and uh, yeah I am able to open the box in a relatively organized manner there are people that have been like going all sorts of strange with how they open the box like people open it upside down and all sorts of oh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful! Oh, look at it. Wow. First thing we're going to look at is the Joy-Cons. Go ahead and take those bad boys out of the package. Now, there are a lot of people that are like sniffing the bag and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I wish I could say I'm not going to do the same thing, but... Uh... Oh. New console smell. Look at it. Look at it! It's so pretty! Let's see, they say they fit comfortably in your hand. Oh, wow. Oh! Okay, cool! Okay, so, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all see this up close. The way this control stick moves around is really interesting. Uh, it has... I don't even know if you can see it. Go ahead and lean on my table here. Uh, it has a little groove on the uh, base of the primary part of the stick that uh, stops it from going too far into this, the uh, system. It's, a, it's like a buffer. Instead of the usual slide around inside of there, it has a buffer. So that makes me think that there's a lot of little bits of tech that are stuffed in here, even around the actual, uh, even around the actual control sticks. Um, that is one Joy-Con, I believe the left Joy-Con, and we're going to go ahead and take out the right Joy-Con. Oh my goodness, y'all don't even know, man. I can't even, I can't even right now. I'm trying to be calm, but it's not working out. It's not working at all. Okay, same smell as the first one, so as you can imagine, amazing. All right, let's see here. The other Joy-Con is similarly comfortable. Uh, I will say that it's slightly more awkward with the joystick. A lot like what people were saying, hey, the joystick is a little, a uh, little on the strange side. Although I'm not having trouble with the buttons so far. Like, people have been saying, like, oh, the, the little, uh, control pad is, uh, not joined, and so it's a terrible thing. I'm not really, I'm not really echoing that, uh, bit of criticism. At least not so far. Um, hmm, it's a cool little bit of, bit of hardware here. Uh, I will say that uh, one thing that does concern me is the fact that the neonness of the Joy-Cons might actually blind someone that I'm playing with. I'm a hand of the Joy-Con, they're just going to go, oh, my eyes, and that, that wouldn't be fun at all. So, um, yeah, after they put on their shades, then we can go ahead and, you know, play games and I would of course decimate everyone because I'm confident like that hashtag awesome sort of all right 
Next thing is the the main event. That is, oh, that's actually very tightly placed in here. I'm going to try, there we go, try to be gentle with, oh my goodness, it's not piano. <laughs> okay, sorry, that, that was my last one, I promise. <clears throat> so, we got the uh, main console. The smells are amazingly similar for all of the bags, which I'm thinking has a lot to do with the fact that the bags are made of the same material, and I'm actually smelling the bag and not the system, and because of this... No, no, they, they smell the same. The bag smells exactly like the console does. Um, here is the Switch console. It's actually beautiful looking. It's, it's very sleek, very modern, very cool. Huh. Uh, the USB Type-C adapter. You got the adapter there on the bottom. So you can plug your... Uh, I hope you can see that. You can plug your uh, smartphone cable, essentially, into here and charge it that way. Uh, if you have a an iDevice, I believe that's for an iDevice. I'm going to have to figure out uh, the logistics of that later. Um, Let's see, what we also have, we have the kickstand, and oh, okay. I see what they were talking about with it being less, uh, less uh, sturdy than what they would want it to be. Um, a lot of reviewers have been saying that this thing is so flimsy, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I've been reading online and trying to figure this thing out uh, because I was so excited, just like I know everybody else was about this system. And uh, it seems that the kickstand was actually made to pop off in the event that you forget to re uh, replace it before you put it into the dock. So there's that. Um, on a side note, this is just going to be an unboxing. Um, I'm going to do the system setup and things of that nature at a later time. Um, Oh, I had to be so careful. Oh, you might be wondering why I had The Legend of Zelda sitting here. I have it sitting there for two reasons. One, the box looks a, a freaking amazing. Second, I'm going to tease you guys until my next video, which will be the unboxing of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I'm working for you guys right now because every part of me just wants to rip open both of these boxes and go to town on Zelda. However, what I'm going to do... That sounded awful, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see if I can fix it. Uh, I can't wait to play Legend of Zelda, so my preference would have been to play the game immediately after receiving them. The UPS guy walked up to my house, and I actually opened the door before he got there. And uh, he looked a little confused, and I was like, yes, I was waiting for you to get here. And I'm assuming that if he's following any sort of Nintendo news, he knows exactly why. Um, or maybe he doesn't know exactly why, which is why he gave me the confused look. Oh, the, the nights of sleep I'm going to lose pondering that one. Anyway, let's go ahead for the uh, Joy-Con grip looks very fancy. Um, it's very light. I mean, it's heavy enough to feel like it's a good controller, but it's light enough to not, you know, have your wrists cramping while you're playing and, and nerve raging and, and throwing the con don't throw the controller. I don't know if it'll stay together. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and try the rails here. I love how they talked about this click noise, and it is truly not done justice in the videos. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm feeling the controller. The controller is lovely. By lovely, I mean as lovely as can be expected from a square-shaped controller. Um, it's actually very comfortable. One of the more comfortable controllers I've felt. And since most people are saying that the Pro Controller is more comfortable than this, I am actually very excited to see what a Pro Controller is like. I did not purchase one at launch, and much to my dismay, I'm sorry, I didn't pre-order one, and much to my dismay when I got to GameStop, they were like, oh, you want a Pro Controller, that's funny. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, this, this feels good. It feels right. 
Hmm. All right, well, got those snapped in there. Uh, I'm going to take this entire Joy controller with the Joy-Con grip and set that to the side. And then we are going to go to, yeah, you thought I was going to do it, didn't you? No, I'm not going to do that. Not yet. Go to the next piece in the puzzle here. See what we got here. Oh, these are the rails for, oh, the Joy-Con grip. Yeah, it still smells the same. Um, let's go ahead and take those bad boys out of there. And I'm going, okay, we got the plus and the minus. I'm going to go ahead and take these things off of here, see if I can do it without breaking something. All right. Ah, delightfully easy. I'll take that out of there like so. Set those to the side. Set my Joy-Con over here. Oh, well, the Joy-Con grip over here. Going to lay this bad boy in the railing. Or can I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Okay. I believe I can do this. Yes! Okay. So, this is... Oh, it feels so much more substantial with the uh, Joy-Con grips on there. Um, I like this. This is the way it should be played. If you're going to play with just the Joy-Cons in your hand, I would definitely say to go ahead and put the little grip on there. It's worth it. It's so worth it. It feels, it feels like it's... It's meaty. It's a meaty controller, even though it's tiny. It's actually not meaty at all. Um, and I think that's the reason why it's awesome. Oh, that is so nifty. So it doesn't matter which way you put the Joy-Con uh, grips on here. Uh, don't quote me yet. I'm going to test that out for sure. But it doesn't matter which way you put the Joy-Con uh, Joy grips on there because there's a plus. Oh, let me go ahead and show you guys up close. There's a plus and a minus on both sides. I really don't know if you guys can see that. If you can, I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, there's a, a minus and a plus. So it doesn't matter which way you put them on there, I believe. I'm going to test that right meow so you guys don't have to... Oh, I thought I broke it. I was so scared. Um, it just kind of jumps right off of there. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, double check to make sure I am correct in my assessment, but I believe that it does not matter which side you put the Joy-Con uh, grip, uh, grips on. Well, sorry, the uh, little expanders for the Joy-Con on. Okay, come here, you. Uh-oh. I did actually watch a video where this happened to somebody, and they were dismayed, and... I'm not going to get dismayed. I will not be. I will not be dissuaded from my. Oh. <sighs> it didn't make sense until I actually. Um, accidentally tripped the lock. But yeah, the lock is how it gets stuck on there. Uh, I'm going to try the other way now. Yeah. They are definitely interchangeable. There's a lock. Oh, so interesting. You can kind of see how the lock works down on the bottom. Uh, in case you guys aren't aware, I am an engineer and I have to analyze every aspect of everything I do because I am me and an engineer. All right, so we have the Joy-Con grips and the see here. Alright, let's go for the next piece. Oh, okay, USB cable. Uh, looks like a six footer, significantly long cable. Go ahead and uh, take that bad boy out of there. You all know what a USB does, so I'm not going to waste my time on it. Uh, it says Nintendo. Makes me feel uh, that much more fancy when I whip it out at a LAN party. Alrighty then, we have the charger, and yeah, that is very similar to an iPhone sort of setup here. So I may need to go out and find a an iPhone charger because I do not have an iPhone. Uh, yeah, well, we all know what this does. It 
charges the system, uh, keeps the system powered up while you're playing the excellent 1080p 60 frame per second games that will be on the Switch. And then, let's see here, it looks like last, last in this endeavor, okay, my space is getting too cluttered, it's starting to bother me. It's too many, too many things, and take that and put it down there, take that and very carefully take it from under the switch so it doesn't hit the table hard. Alright, here we go with the last piece of the puzzle, which I believe is the switch dock. Of course, because that's the last thing in the box, and it's the last thing we haven't even uh, covered yet. Those. Just put them on down there. Oh, that is fancy. It it really doesn't do it justice through a video. Like, I, like, I'm actually sad that I can't sit in each one of your houses and actually show you these pieces one by one, because they're so well made. Okay. Oh, okay, all right. I was actually kind of wondering what those little dots at the bottom were for. Uh, by dots, I mean the dots that you can see on the very bottom there. There's two dots right next to the uh, places, uh, the, sorry, the charger port. And that, my dear YouTube friends, is how the switch knows that it's actually docked. That is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so anyway, you can see the uh, Switch logo. Yeah, Switch logo on there. Uh, you can see Nintendo logo on the back. Nintendo logo on the back, yes. And then, if you open up the back, you can see you have the AC adapter, you have the USB connector, and then you have an HDMI out, where you would plug your uh, your HDMI. 